screencast we're going to show you how to create complex line types part three this time we're going to use the wingdings font the reason for the wingdings font is if i type m text bring it up here i'm going to right click and i'm going to use a symbol and i'm going to select other <clears throat> you'll notice on the character map for wingdings look at all the symbols we have on here we don't have to create shapes if we have symbols already available we have arrows diamonds smiley faces you can select any of those so let's do that in our line type file so let's draw a line this time i'm only going to make it one unit in length I type one by doing directed distance entry <clears throat> i'll keep my color yellow for now and i'm going to type m text let's do three objects let's do the letter t the letter l and how about the letter z so we have three separate objects in there i'm going to explode those get to the entities to be just dynamic text instead of M text. I'm going to change my base point to the middle center. So I'm going to select all three, come over to properties palette and change my justification. You don't have to do this. A lot of these characters and fonts aren't exactly as you notice right in here. That's not exactly the center. It's pretty close though. So what we want to do now is copy our line three times. One, two, three and then we want to move these symbols to the midpoint of the line so i'm going to hold down my shift key and hit midpoint whether that's the exact center or not we don't know that right now but we're going to move it just visually i'm going to move this to the using grips you can move to the midpoint of that that's that's what i love about grips midpoint of that so you can see these characters don't have the exact symbol so what i'm going to do is just nudge this up there a little bit using my ortho to kind of visually get the center of that line which is good, whatever that symbol is. There's a circle, and here's a diamond. So we have our three shapes. Now, what we're going to do is hit the trim command. You can trim text, so I'm just going to select my text. I'm not going to draw a circle to get point one like I did before, and that. So we have three new lines with the wingdings line type. The main thing you have to do now is you have to have in your drawing, you have to have a style called wing lines or something that that AutoCAD is going to take the character of that and find it and actually be able to use it on, on different scenarios. So that'll have to be set up first. And that'll have to be in your template file in order for these to work. So we're going to create our line type. So up on the, the ribbon, underneath the Express Tools tab, Tools Panel, Pin It. I like to pin it when I'm using it. I'm going to hit Make Line Type, and I'm going to call this Wing Lines. Or I'm going to call it my new my new lines just one word and i'm going to select the line type name and i'm going to call it diamond line with diamond on the starting point of the definition i'm going to hold down my shift key and hit the end point at the end point one two three objects and down there diamond was created let's do it for the circle you can select it remember it's going to say do you want to replace it i'm going to hit yes because it's just going to append it and i'll show you that so i'm going to call this circle line with circle starting point shift down end point just think of how many different types you can do with this end point object object my last object circle created last one i don't know what that symbol is but we're going to create it make line type again remember select your, select your line type file my new lines replace it and i'll show you what it does i'm going to call this crazy my new crazy line I'll hold down my endpoint hold down my shift key again endpoint and i'm going to select my objects one more time crazy was created so let's erase our lines and see how these look i know they're in there i'm going to unpin this and i'm going to type line type at the command prompt and you'll see <clears throat> we have diamond crazy and circle the three that were there before our default from autocad so we, and we'll have to load this each time so let's draw a circle we'll offset that just by through because I just want to show you the lines real quick and then we'll show you how we can match the properties of that as well. So we have the first one here and underneath the properties palette, I normally you'd set these by layer, but we'll change our line type to circle. 
Let me zoom in a little bit to get more of a better visual representation. See how nice that line is? And then we're going to change this one to diamond and this one to crazy. So how cool is that? I mean, you have three different lines. I'll change the colors a little bit. Just three different line types based off a of font that you don't have to worry about. The key to this is you don't have to worry about actually, you know, distributing file with that because everybody has the Wingdings font. You just have to be careful. You have to have your style called wing lines and set to that. You have to have the certain style because what AutoCAD is going to do when you load this line type file, I'm going to open the file and show you. It's called my my new lines. You see right in here, you can do this. More normally what I do is I put notes in here. I'm just going to hit enter to show you. So you see our line type when we created it. We, we called it diamond and we had line with a diamond. Then A is telling AutoCAD to put the pen down. T is the actual character you type on your keyboard. T, L, and Z. Those are the three letters we used. Wing lines is the style. If the style is not within drawing, if that style is not within your drawing, you're going to get a bad definition on your line type, and you're going to have to hit hit it again, bad definition, bad definition. When you get the bad definition, that's the first thing to look for. If it's a text-based line type, do you have a style that represents what's in that line type file? Thank you. This has been part three of Complex Line Types for AutoCAD.